Hey guys, welcome back to day four of Vlogmas. The boys and I are headed out to Dollar General to grab a couple little things that we need for lunch and the boys are gonna pick out some fun little small gifts for Dean today because today's his birthday. Um, and so we thought it would be fun for each boy to go pick a little something that they think that he would like or reminds them of him and just something little not a big deal um and when he comes over for lunch we will have lunch and then he can unwrap his gifts from the boys later tonight um my mom's coming over to watch the boys so dean and i can go on a date for his birthday just to go out to eat and um yeah so anyway we are going to head home get ready for lunch after lunch we'll do our christmas study and open our advent card and do our little activity for advent and then d and i will go on our date later this evening so anyway here we are at dollar general so we're gonna run in and see what we can find for daddy o any ideas guys things you can think of i know that Ezra is going to get him um, a Reese's Take 5 bar because that's Dean's favorite candy bar and um, we're not big on candy. We don't really do candy except for Halloween and the and Dean and I also try to, you know, live by that rule. So, hold on just a second guys. Um, but because it's his birthday, um, we're going to get him a candy bar because that's what he would like. <laughs> okay guys, so the boys are bringing um, the gifts that we got for Dean. Not the toothpaste. That's not for Dad. That's us. <laughs> um, they got the gifts that we bought for Dean um, and we are going to wrap them really quickly and then we're going to pick day four's advent card read our verse do our activity hopefully get in our winter homeschool mini study thing in today um, before my mom gets here and Dean and I go on a date um, so anyway I'm going to flip the camera around and show you where I keep all of my wrapping stuff and then we'll wrap some presents Okay, so this is a bag that I got probably 15 years ago. It was from Avon, and it's just like a gift wrap storage bag. So I keep a bunch of different wrapping paper here for, you know, baby showers, birthdays, Father's Day, Christmas, weddings, things like that. Um, a lot of different tissue paper. There's a bunch of Christmas, and there's some other stuff. Um, bright colors, things like that here. Um, I've got like ribbon, ribbons and bows on this side. Most of these bows are smashed. I would not recommend keeping bows in this kind of thing. The ribbon does great in here. Christmas tags over here and a bunch of other ribbon there. Um, I also keep, see, yeah, there it is, um, tape and scissors in here. So I actually need to get those things out for the boys. Um, and anyway, this is like the most convenient thing to keep all of my wrapping stuff in. Um, yeah, so if you're having issues with like not keeping up with your wrapping paper, bows, tissue paper, things like that, I would definitely recommend one of those. All right, so um, these are the things that we got Dean and the boys are gonna wrap them. So Uriah it's a big blankie. wanted to get his daddy a really cozy blankie. So I think daddy will like that. Um, and he can leave it either on the bed or over one of the chairs and snuggle up with it when he's cold. That's a good idea. Okay, Isaiah, what did you get, Dad, that he normally I got doesn't him have a bag massager. I got him this and some Ritz just because I can. <laughs> Daddy likes squeeze cheese and he loves Ritz crackers and he doesn't get them often. So for his birthday, that was very thoughtful of you and a little massager. We don't know he how long that's going to last. This. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, Ez, what did you get, Daddy? I got just a take five. A take five candy bar, cause that's his favorite. All right, and Jay, what did you get him? I got him this steel traveler tumbler because he always takes his mom's um, <laughs> mugs to work. Uh, he takes and, uh, my coffee mugs to work, some. and then and when I say, big. "Hey, where are all the coffee mugs?" He's like, "I don't know. What did you do with them?" <laughs> but he takes them to work, so that's a good idea for Dad to have that. Okay. Oh. All right, boys, let's get to wrapping.
Judah is yeah. helping. Yeah. Uriah is picking day four is Advent. Okay, so day number four's Bible verse is Luke 1, 30, and it says, And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. All right. So, Uriah, you want to go sit in the chair and tell us what? We're going to be making Christmas cookies. <laughs> no, we're not Christmas. making Christmas cookies. Yeah, Christmas. What does it say? Christmas. Can you read that? Because it's Make a belt ornament. A th Felt ornament. No, it's a felt Mom should have used non scripty yes, Christmassy have. text. Okay. Um, make a felt ornament. So, a felt ornament. Isaiah, if you will get that yellow bag behind Mom's table centerpiece, there are a ton of felt ornaments in there. Do you guys remember these? They were ornaments from our Jesse tree? Yes. Okay. So, there's a bunch of extra felt in there and we are going to use those today to make a Christmas ornament and we'll use those Christmas ornaments later on in our Advent stuff, okay? Okay, so it's four o'clock and Dean's gonna be home in about 15 or 20 minutes. Um, my mom's gonna be here at 4.45, so I have been cleaning, I've been vacuuming, um, cleaning up from our ornament making, our little felt ornament making thing today, um, and I am making dinner. I am making, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, hearty lentil soup with chicken sausage. Um, so I'm putting that in my Instant Pot right now. And still vacuuming. Um, yeah, so hopefully the house is, you know, mostly clean when my mom gets here. And um, then when Dean gets here, he will open up the boys' gifts for his birthday. And we will get ready and head out for our date. I'm not sure where we're going tonight. We'll see where he wants to eat. Um, we may have a little bit of time to do some Christmas shopping. Um, I don't know. We'll see what we get into. Who knows? Dad, I got you something that you won't really want, but you really do need. How many presents do I have? You really do oh, need. I love this. You need this one. What? You need this one. Um, and you also need this one. Well, I literally, I wore the grass mine. Mm -hmm. Guys, I got the wet dress one. Okay, all right, I'm going I'm to see what we got here. All right, so this one. Hey, guys, can you please open my second? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys wrap as well as your bag. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 man. Hey, you knew how much I like this. Hey, Ezra, don't kids. tell Daddy what his yeah. presents are, okay? That's awesome. Thank you, man. Daddy, I just thought you let me buy it. A steel travel mug. I can dig it. it. Mm -hmm. right. So you don't steal mugs. Oh, yeah, I just got you like mugs anymore. Right. Right. Yeah, it feels like maybe a toothbrush or something. Charlie. 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 Oh, what are you doing? Oh, okay. I know what this is. Thank you so much. You're the cold kid. You can eat it if you want to. Open this one first. Yes, open this one first. These two go together, but this one I just bought for you. Okay. Wow, you guys are really showering me with gifts. This me up. Dad, you'll need this for when you get back from work. 
Is it a viewer? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, it's, oh, it's a massager. Yes. That is cool. Oh, and it's telescopes. Yeah, okay. That's neat. All right, let's take it. Ezra's going to help you with your. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Thank you, Zay. Zay. Oh, Isaiah. Take care of that. Ezra. Ezra. Charlie doing his thing over there. All right. Won't show you all on camera what that dog oh, is doing. Yeah. Ugh. Toss him outside. What we got here is a. Ha ha after my own heart. Squeeze cheese. Uh huh. I mean, somebody else has gotten me a box of crackers, though. That's what I know. Wait a minute. I didn't think that. Is that what this is? Yes. <laughs> it's Ritz. It's Ritz crackers. I can eat a whole box yes, of Ritz crackers. It's not for you, Charlie. But you're not going to. Are you? No, it's not Dad, last present. The last one. All right. The biggest, the biggest one. one. I see that. Make sure thing. you clean that really well. No, I need to go with that. Oh, they, uh. And. And. Oh, wow, man. Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. just got to the house and um, Dan and I are off for our date. It's been a long time I feel like since we've gone out to eat like out for like a date. We've gone to Biltmore um, and we had our Gatlinburg anniversary trip this summer but I feel like it has been a while since we've it's gone on like a, June to December. <laughs> like, a, like a legitimate <laughs> date night. <laughs> um, anyway, do you want to tell everybody how old you are or do you want to keep that a secret? <laughs> I think, I think that I am two years past being allowed to run for president. So, <laughs> you make, should be make, about make you look that up. <laughs> <laughs> um, here in the United States, that is. Um, yes, so, I Dean. Haven't, I haven't done it yet. But I did it right on my birthday. But <sighs> maybe next time. Yeah, don't think I'd make a good president's wife. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, so, Dean is older than me and he lets me know he's older than me during this 20 day period mm -hmm. where he's my elder for 20 days um man that respect <laughs> um okay so where do you want to eat because it's your birthday do you want like um japanese or do you want like carabas and italian or i don't know we go all around johnson city i learned this it's somewhere just Okay, so the other day, that would be fun. The other day when I was down, um, oh, it's when we went to the movies when your mom rented. His mom rented like a whole movie theater just so we could all go to the movies together. Anyway, she does things like this. Um, so when we were at the movies that night, uh, Cafe Lola was closed and it was. What, well, that was a Sunday. Do you think they yeah. just closed on Sundays? Maybe. Anyway, oh. we love going to Cafe Lola. It's like the place we go for our Valentine's Day date every single year. And sometimes we bring friends. I think Travis and Andy want to come with us this year, they said. Hopefully they're open. Um, anyway, so we are going to figure out if they're open. Um, and if they're not, wherever else we decide it's on. It's either Japanese and gorge myself to the point where I can't walk. <laughs> Or Cafe Lola and have a, a very delicious appetizer, meal. dinner, dessert, coffee, and yeah. still be able to walk. But I mean, there's probably yeah. nowhere in between. It's one of those two of my favorites. Yeah. Um, I was just thinking something. Oh, so there are no um, good like Japanese like There's no Makoto's where they cook in front of you in Johnson City. We'd have to go to Boone, North Carolina, for Makoto's. But there are some um, Japanese restaurants there where they cook, you know, back in the kitchen and they bring you that same style of food. But we really like, I guess it's the ambiance and it's like the, the experience of like watching them cook in front of you. And 
Anyway, we'd have to go to Boon for that, but I mean, we could do that if you want. We've got time if you wanted Japanese. Oh, uh, no, this way we can do. I, we know Johnson City. I think we know Johnson City. Better. Okay. Like, if we need to run a big lots or a shoe store or something. Like yeah, that. we do need to go to shoes. And I need, big lot. I need to go to big lots and I need to go to Walmart tonight. Hopefully. That's, okay. Our dates are. 50% date night. <laughs> 50% errand running. <laughs> yeah, because it's like the only time we're out together out of town, so we gotta get that stuff done. Okay. We'll see where we end up. So we were able to get reservations. Yay! Do they have a set menu on regular nights? I think they do. Yeah, I guess I just... On Valentine's Day, it's always set. Yeah. What's this called? Freshetto flatbread. But what's on it? Freshetto and... Goat Bro cheese. Oh, breakfast cheese. That's what it is. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. So, that salmon wellington and what did you get? Um, smoked mozzarella ravioli. Wow, that's so good. It's crazy. It's good. I So, I just got home from our date, and my mom left, and I did a little bit of quick cleaning. Um, after we ate at Cafe Lola, we went to the um, we went to a shoe store, Bed Bath and Beyond, and the mall. Um, looking for shoes and some Christmas gifts that we had on our list. Um, and we only found a pair of shoes for Dean. So isn't that kind of how it goes? You're like, you've got this list of things that you want to look for and you take all this time driving and looking around the store and then you walk out with like one thing from your list that you were able to find. So it's just so much easier to shop online. But anyway, shoes, I feel like shoes, um are a little difficult to find online, especially for Dean. He needed a new pair of boots because his um, were just really old and he just needed a new pair. Um, but I've not really had a lot of success buying him stuff online because I feel like he has to try it on. Anyway, um, he did find a pair of boots and we got um, an even bigger discount on them than we thought we were gonna get because everything's on sale right now, it seems. Um, so that was good that we went to the store um, yeah, so anyway, this video, this, this Vlogmas Day 4 video is probably going to be way longer than I intended it to be, just because it was Dean's birthday, and we did the shopping for his gifts, and wrapping, and opening, and then Dean and I went on our little date, and, um, I took you guys along for all of that stuff, but thank you if you're still watching here at the end. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoyed getting this little glimpse into Dean's birthday day and us doing our little advent felt ornament decoration stuff. Um, I should also say that we ended up not making ornaments. We made like little pillows. The boys wanted to do pillows to put on their bed, like little Christmas pillows to put on their bed. Anyway, whatever. It's totally fine with me. Um, but thank you guys very much for watching. And definitely, definitely come back and watch tomorrow, day five. We have um, a special project lined up for tomorrow that I'm really excited about. It's something that I try to do every single year. It's very seasonal and very festive. Um, anyway, I think you guys will like it. And I hope you're having a good evening, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.